quadratic equation is an equation that has a variable to the second degree, right? So this is a quadratic. And you can see this is set equal to zero, and we're trying to solve for x. And normally what we would do is we'd just go ahead and use our quadratic formula here. You can see x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. But what we're going to do is we're going to show you how you can get from this equation to this equation by completing the square. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to subtract c from both sides of this equation. So that gives us ax squared plus bx equals negative c. Now because we have a leading coefficient of a, what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide the left and the right sides of the equation by a to keep it balanced, okay? So if we do that, these are going to cancel one another out. We're left with x squared plus b over a times x equals negative c over a. Now we're going to complete the square at this point, and the way we do that is we take half of this middle coefficient, so this is going to be like a trinomial, we're going to take half of this middle coefficient, the number in front of the x, and we're going to square it. So half of b over a, that's multiplying by 1 half, and we're going to square that. So that's going to give us b over 2a, the quantity squared, which is b squared over 4a squared. Okay, so I'm just squaring the numerator and squaring the denominator, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add that to both sides of the equation to keep it balanced. So b squared over 4a squared. Okay, so are you with me so far? So now what we're going to do is we're going to factor this trinomial. And the way we've set it up is it's going to be a perfect square. So it's going to be x plus b over 2a, the quantity squared, equals. Now over here to combine these, we're going to have to get common denominators. So I'm going to have to multiply uh, the numerator and the denominator of this fraction by 4a. So we get the common denominator of 4a squared. So that's going to give us 4a squared. This is going to be b squared for this fraction, and this is going to be a negative 4ac for this fraction. Okay, now we're going to take the square root of both sides, okay, and the square and the square root, those cancel each other out, so we just have x plus b over 2a equals, now remember when you take the square root of both sides of the equation, you get plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all divided by, now the square root of 4a squared is just 2a, so we can simplify that part of the square root. And then the last part here is we're just going to subtract b over 2a from both sides of the equation, okay? And so that's going to give us x equals negative b over 2a plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And then we can combine these together into one fraction because they have a common denominator, negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So that's it. So that's how you would uh, derive the quadratic formula by completing the square uh, when you're given a quadratic equation like that. So I hope this uh, helps you understand how to work with this a little bit better. Subscribe to the channel. Check out more math tutoring videos on my YouTube channel, Mario's Math Tutoring. And I look forward to seeing you in the future videos. I'll talk to you soon.